I had previously covered a story involving the band Molly Crew and how one of their fans vanished prior to attending a concert of theirs in 2005. The band would team up with law enforcement and even offered a cash reward to help solve the case. I also did a very similar story about a Pearl Jam fan named Brian Schaefer who went missing in 2006. That is truly one of the most puzzling stories I've come across on my channel. The links to those videos are down below. Now, something that's interesting is on both of those videos in the comments section, I saw a few people bring up something similar that happened to Metallica, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Metallica was set to play a show at John Paul Jones Arena at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville in October of 2009. Going to the concert was a female sophomore student from Virginia Tech, a 20-year-old named Morgan Dana Harrington, who drove to the show with three of her friends. During the opening act, Harrington told her friends that she was going to the bathroom. Her friends noticed she had been gone for a while, and when she didn't return to her seat, they called her cell around 8.48 p.m. She would answer her phone and tell her friends that she ended up outside of the arena having a cigarette, according to CBS News. Due to the venue's no re-entry policy, she would tell her friends not to worry about her and that she would find her way home. The night of the concert, Harrington was wearing a Pantera t-shirt and a black skirt. Two people that night reported seeing her in different parts of the parking lot outside of the venue, with the last sighting of her being at 9.30 p.m. on a nearby bridge trying to hitch a ride. In addition to that, two witnesses claimed to have seen her with three men outside of the arena. The following day, she was supposed to see her parents in the afternoon, but when she failed to show up, her parents reported her missing. The day after her disappearance, a lacrosse player would find her ID and phone with the battery removed in the parking lot of the venue. A few weeks later, her Pantera t-shirt was found a few miles away from where she was last seen, outside of an apartment building. Sadly, in January of 2010, Morgan's remains were found by a farmer in a rural area about 10 miles from her last known location. DNA samples from Harrington's body happened to match a case that happened four years earlier in 2005 in Fairfax City. In that case, a woman was walking home from a grocery store at night and was attacked by an unknown assailant. The assailant thankfully was scared away by a pedestrian in the area. The woman who was attacked got a good look at the suspect and the police were able to come up with a sketch of the man. The woman would describe the man as a six foot tall African American with facial hair between the ages of 25 and 35. With a DNA match and a sketch, the police now needed the name of the suspect. Metallica frontman James Hetfield would release a public service announcement in hopes of soliciting tips from the public to help solve the Harrington case. Metallica would even offer a cash reward of $50,000 in addition to the $100,000 that Crime Stoppers was offering at the time. Here's the PSA that Hetfield cut. Back in 2010, our band offered $50,000 to help catch the person responsible for murdering Morgan Harrington. Since that time, authorities uncovered new evidence linking her killer to a similar assault on a woman in Virginia. If you've seen the person in this sketch or have any information about this case or any others, please contact your local police or submit your information online. Remember, any information, no matter how small you might think it is, could be that crucial piece investigators need to help solve the case. Right now, there's up to $150,000 reward. If you have any information on this case, please call the number on your screen. Thank you. Years later, there would finally be a breakthrough in the Harrington case, but it would come at the cost of another young woman's life. In September of 2014, an 18-year-old University of Virginia student named Hannah Graham went missing. Her remains wouldn't be found until several weeks later on a rural property. Through witness testimony and security camera footage, the police were able to identify a man named Jesse Matthews, who was with Graham the night she disappeared. Through forensic evidence, the police were able to determine that Matthew's DNA was a match in the 2005 attack and the disappearance of Harrington and Graham. He would end up being arrested. Matthews, for his part, was heavily built and stood six feet tall and used to play college football. His college years would be overshadowed by several assault accusations in 2002 and 2003. Each time the police would investigate these allegations, but he was never arrested. After each allegation, Matthews would change schools and start a new life. He would work a variety of jobs, including driving a cab and worked as a hospital porter, but at night he would stalk his victims at local bars. In 2016, in an effort to spare his life, Matthews would cut a deal with prosecutors, admitting to both murders and the 2005 attack. 
Matthews would receive four life sentences in prison without any chance of parole, and as recently as December of 2020, it would be revealed that Matthews was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. That does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching, be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Stories, take care.